taking technology to a whole nother level here in the Hoosier State. I'm WRTV's Amber Grigley here at Recycle Force. Now, this machine is the first of its kind recovering rare earth materials from electronic waste. Most of you know we're employing people coming home from prison and Americans buy too much stuff and throw it away. And we're trying to figure out how we remake the people and the things we throw away into things society wants and needs. A significant milestone reached here in Indianapolis that the president and founder of Recycle Force says will strengthen the nation's supply chain. We've been taking the stuff we throw away, our electronics, our cell phones, our refrigerators, you name it, right? And we've been breaking them into steel, copper, aluminum, plastic, and then all the circuit boards that contain gold, silver, and this rare earth. And we've not had a way to recover this rare earth. The process takes three simple steps, yet hours to perfect. It starts with pre-shredded electronic material from Recycle Force. Uh, we'll start by taking this and putting it into this uh, large tumbler behind us, the gray piece of equipment. In there, those materials will be mixed with a liquid solution. That mixture is then separated. It can go on into these tanks that you see over here, and we precipitate out the rare earth as a solid. Finally. The rare earth solids are shipped off to a company to be sold. The CEO and founder of that company, Daniel Bina, says his team has been working to develop this technology for nearly nine years. The project that you see here today uh, really is taking that technology and putting it into a form that could go out into the country and globally and go to the source of where these materials are and have processing there on site. What made Indianapolis attractive to test this out. We're in the Silicon Valley of logistics. Everything, you know, we're in the, the crossroads of America, and that's why we're located in a great place to do this work. Where do you see this going in terms of economic impact? The chip manufacturers that we're trying to attract here, if we can get this to a process where they can utilize it, then that becomes, you know, critical for them. Now, it's going to take some time before Indiana will be able to see the economic impact behind this machine. But what we do know, this is a game changer for how we recycle globally. I'm Amber Grigley, WRTV.